Hey everyone, I am Nixie and welcome to 100 Dino Cars. So a little while ago we played 100 Asian Cars, so this is literally just finding the cars. Uh, it was super cute last time, I really enjoyed it and it gave me like just a chance to like sit down chat with you guys and just like chill out. So that's what we're going to do today. We have, like I said, the 100 Dino Cars. I also have as well installed the 100 Funny Cats. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like down here, they've got quite a few uh, like different levels out now. And these are free to play as well. Um, and then you can pay to do like an extra level if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, they've got loads of like upcoming uh, games as well um, but yeah so I just wanted to like literally just sit down with you guys and just like chill out um, like I know <laughs> like I know I mentioned like on a recent video about um, like my sinuses like my sinus migraines and like just the issues I have with like my sinuses have really been like just kicking my ass recently um, so I just wanted to like just sit down and just chill out um but yeah because like I say they've just been like driving me insane recently um I did receive my like I because I did order like a um <laughs> like a bit of a hardcore uh air purifier which is supposed to help with like allergies um, like just particles, like pet hairs, all that sort of stuff. Cause like I don't know what it is that keeps triggering, like all of these issues. Like I think it's just a mixture of like a bunch of different things. Um, so yeah, I basically ordered like an industrial strength um air purifier. So I do feel like it is helping a little bit. Like I've been waking up not as like congested as well like in the morning so I think it is like it's doing something it's helping a little bit um which is great um so yeah today we're just chilling out finding some like, cute little cats um so yeah this is what we're doing today guys um yeah so like I said hopefully that's like it's gonna help out a bunch Especially with like the warm weather because I do think I've got like some allergies as well. Um, so I know that they're just going to get even more aggravated as we're getting like this warmer weather. Um, but yeah, how are you guys? What are you guys been up to? I, um, I know I mentioned this like a little while ago but I um, went in for my first um, tatty session on my like leg sleeve. Like I know I mentioned that a little while ago. Um, so we managed to do like, um, Link and Midna, like Twilight Princess, uh, which I'm very excited that we finally like got a start at that. Um, can I click this? Um, so yeah, that happened like the other day, so my leg's like st still swollen, still a little sore. Um, but yeah, it's been done by someone called Lee, Leroy Inks. Um, I'll have his stuff like linked down below in the description if you want to go check it out. But he does like a lot of um, anime manga tattoos that are really awesome. Um, so yeah, when I saw his stuff I was like, yeah, this is the person that I want to do like my leg sleeve. Because um, well, I want both of them doing. Um, so one is going to be like based on like my favorite like game characters and stuff and then I want my other sleeve to be like manga anime characters um so yeah I'm excited that we've like got a start on that um but yeah also as well with like the channel is this one stuck through the tree <laughs> But yeah, with the channel as well, like, I know it's been really heavy um, on Final Fantasy content. Like, Final Fantasy Rebirth has been, like, such a huge, huge, um, like, it's just been dominating the channel, on it, guys? Um, and it has been, like, kind of stressful as well to, like, actually get through it. Um, and then we also have like the Final Fantasy 16 DLC that's happening as well. Um, 
But we are sort of like in the last like two chapters for Rebirth. Um, and I know Stellar Blade has released, which I've been looking forward to that game for like since it was announced as like Project Eve. Um, I've been really like looking forward to that. Um, but I think just like diving straight into that after we've like finished Rebirth is just going to be a bit too much. Um, because like I say, there's like I'm edging on towards like 90 hours in Rebirth. Um, so yeah, it's been kind of a lot. So I think what I want to do is, um, once we finish that, there's still like a couple of games that I've had installed for like the longest time that I just haven't got around to some like shorter things. Uh, for example, uh, Planet of Lana, like we played the demo on that like months ago now. Um, and like that's been released for quite a while and like we just haven't got around to it. Like it's not a very long game, I think it's like four hours or something, so it's like not a huge commitment. Um, and I feel like I need <laughs> something like that after Rebirth. Um, we've also like had parasocial that have been going on about ages which will just be like a one-off video we also have um like bramble the mountain king like i wanted to play that for like the longest time and again we played the demo of that and then we just haven't got around to playing the actual game um Okay, so we're missing six cats. God, where are these? Some of these dinosaur faces are pretty funny. Ah, oh, we can zoom in. Oh, God. I might make things easier. And oh, there's one here. Um. There we go. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, and I've been really wanting to play, like, um. Like I say, Planet of Lana for ages as well, because I did enjoy the uh, demo that we played. Um, so that's just kind of like a platforming puzzler. Um, and yeah, we've got like the second playthrough of uh, A Learning the Dark to play, um, which I would like to do because I would like to get the perspective of uh, the detective on there as well. Uh, I have heard that it's pretty like similar to um like Emily's um POV but I kind of want to see if we can get like more of the collectibles and just to see if there are any differences um so I want to like I say do that as well but where are these other cars? Is anyone like screaming at me? Aha, uh -huh. there's one. You little monkey. So yeah, I do still plan to play Stellar Blade. Um, well, it's just going to be like pushback, to be honest. And I did play the demo. I think I mentioned this a little while ago as well. Like I have played the demo. So it's about an hour long or something. God, it's hard, guys. I just played it on normal mode as well and it's it's freaking hard guys. At least I found it to be. Ah, here's one. Okay, one last one to go. Where are you? Because everything's in like black and white as well. It's hard to it's hard to see some of these as well. I keep looking at this bug as well, thinking that this is one. It's smart. Um Come on, one more. One teeny tiny little kitty cat to go. Where are you? <gasps> there it is. You little monkey. We did it! Awesome! That was fun. It did take that long, actually. But yeah, I like these to just like chill out to and just like when you want to do something but you don't want to do anything like too brain taxing, like I like these little games for this. So yeah, you can get like another level, um, which is completely different, but I think what I want to do is go ahead and jump into the funny cats. 
Okay, guys, <laughs> gonna go into the hundred funny cats. And I keep wanting to cross my legs and I can't because my leg hurts. Um, God, the music's loud. Shh, calm down. Okay, let's go into this one. <laughs> God, there's a lot going off in this one. So yeah, like, again with the games as well, God, this is a teeny tiny one. Um, so yeah, like I say, we're still going to play Stella Blade. I can already tell it's going to be a stressful um, series to record. Like, I'm going to find it hard uh, just from, like, the demo. Although I did see, like, an update where, like, they have sort of, like, loosened up a bit of, like, the uh, hitboxes for, like, parries and dodges. Like, parries, I didn't find too bad. Like, to be honest, even dodges, but, like, I'm not gonna lie, I did die a lot while I was playing the demo. <laughs> like, and I know that you can drop the um, difficulty level as well to just, like, story mode, but let's see how we get on when, like, I do get round to it. Um, I also want to play as well, like, another hidden object game. Like, it's been forever. I think, was the last one we did the Christmas hug? Have I not done any of this this year? I don't think we have, have we? Um, so yeah, obviously, like, I would like to do another hug because I do enjoy those as well. And they're nice to, like, just chill to. Um... So yeah, I think we'll get into um, maybe a couple of hugs as well. Just have a bit of a break between the big games. I just don't fancy like finishing off Rebirth, finishing off like the Final Fantasy 16 DLC and then jumping into like another re like big game. Like I think Stellar Blade is still like averaging out at like 35 hours. Um, possibly a bit more depending like how much you want to like get into like side stuff um so yeah i think we'll have a little bit of a like break from big long games do a few one-offs um see how i'm coping with like my sinus stuff um because I feel like anything as well, like, to do with, like, your head is such a betrayal of your body. Because, like, there's no getting away from that, is there? Um, like, you can't just ignore it. Like, it's constantly there. Like, the brain fog as well. Like, if any of you suffer with, like, migraines or anything like that. Um, like, the brain fog that comes along with it as well is just, like, quite hard to deal with sometimes. Um... So yeah, trying to concentrate on recording and stuff as well. Like, I think it just, it's a bit too much sometimes. Um, so yeah, I think we'll have like a chill couple of weeks once Rebirth's done. I feel like I've kind of like missed out on a few games as well that have like released recently because I've been so focused on Rebirth. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm really, really enjoying Rebirth. Like, it's been so much fun. Um, yeah, I really, really have been enjoying it. <laughs> some of these cats, God, some of them are so small as well. And so sneaky, like this one. How many have we got? Six. I feel like the music in these games is like really extra as well. <laughs> okay. Guys, we're down to our last five. Also as well. Um like we have the like my monthly manga whole video coming out, like reviews and stuff coming out, uh, in a couple of days. I have to say I've kind of slacked a little bit on like my reading. Uh, this month because if I'm being completely honest as well Stardew Valley 1.6 has sort of like Taken over my life a little bit. I'm not gonna lie 
At first as well, I was like, I'm just gonna dip my toes and I'm just gonna have a look. Like, I've had quite a bit of a break from Stardew. So I just see what it's all about and then it's like... <sighs> hours and hours later. And I'm like still playing it. So, yeah, it's definitely like sucked me back in. But it's been a lot of fun. Like, some of them are just like quality of life updates and stuff that uh, Consent Ape has done, like, have been really good. Like, even just the little things, like, being able to craft a big chest, like, has been amazing. Um, but where are these last three cats? I have to say that these cats aren't that funny. I'd say they're amusing. Where? I also kind of want to do, um, like I've been thinking about this like a lot recently. Um, like I don't have any of like my older like consoles and stuff. Um, but I've had like a massive urge to be, like play the um, Soul Blade. Um, the first Soul Blade, so it's now called Soul Calibur, but yeah, the first Soul Blade was the one that I, like, one of the first games that I got properly obsessed with, like, as a kid. Like, I freaking loved that game so much. So I've, like, been seriously contemplating, like, just buying a uh, PS1 just to play that, and I was kind of thinking, like, if people would be interested in like maybe like a little retro series on the channel so like if i go back and play like these older games from like that i loved sort of growing up um yeah that was like something that i'd be like oh god look at one teeny tiny but yeah that's something that i've been like thinking about as well like if any of you would be interested in seeing that then I would absolutely be down for like some retro games. Like seeing if I can finally be um Altered Beast. God, I remember that on Sega being like the bane of my life. Like so freaking hard. I think PlayStation had it on their like um store a while ago and I tried playing it again. It's still hard. <laughs> I don't know what it is about older games as well that are just like, they're still hard. Um, but yeah, that's something that I've been thinking about recently. Like I say, I freaking loved Soul Blade so much, so I would absolutely be down to get a PlayStation, PlayStation 1, play a few old games. Guys, where is this last cat? Has anyone found it yet? Guys, I bet it's some like a teeny tiny little thing. See the teeny tiny are is like screaming in my face right now. I do love this little one like peering out from the carousel. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. There you are! <gasps> you little monkey. Okay guys, we did it! Awesome. Yeah, I like these. These are fun, like, little games. If you know of any more of these, like, um, like, the hidden cat games and stuff, I definitely leave them in the comments down below because, yeah, I love stuff like this just to, like, chill out to. Um, but yeah, I am going to leave this video here. I think I've rambled on enough. Um, but I hope that gives you as well, like, a little idea of things to come on the channel, sort of, like, once we've finished, uh, Rebirth and everything. Um, so we'll just take a bit of a time out before jumping into the next, like, massive game. Uh, because I think as well, like, after Stellar Blade, the next, um, release I was anticipating and that, like, I want to play is Black Myth. And that doesn't come out till, like, mid-August, late August. Um, unless it obviously gets pushed back. But that's, like, the next sort of big release after that. Uh, so I think we've got a bit of time to like fit in Stellar Blade before that as well. Um, but yeah, so I think that's the plan of action. Let me know about the retro games because I would be down for that as well. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you guys had fun. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. <laughs>